and Ross Braun was there standing next to me at the urinals and I was thinking, oh. right, this is my opportunity to, uh, <laughs> to, to try and You're further kidding. my career. Now we move on to our moment of the year. To present the award, please welcome David Coulthard. How are you? Great to see you. I actually think you're the perfect person to present this award because you've had so many memorable moments with so many people in this room, so yeah. fantastic. <laughs> Naomi, you said you'd keep that quiet. OK, let's find out then which moments have been nominated. We have Nick De Vries, point scoring for Williams on his F1 debut in Monza. Max Verstappen's record-breaking 14th win of the season in Mexico. George Russell's first Formula One win in Brazil. And Ross Chastain's incredible ride around the wall at Martinsville in NASCAR. I'm just going to go with the crowds cheering. I think we'll go with George Russell. Fantastic. Well done. Okay. Oh. <laughs> no tongue. <laughs> There's a memorable moment. <laughs> Thank you very much. George, congratulations. I mean, just tell us about the pressure of the final laps and what it felt like to see the chequered flag and join that elusive club, that exclusive club. Yeah, it was obviously an incredible moment for me personally. I think the journey that we as a team have been on that season of victory seemed so far out of reach at so many moments and we obviously had a golden opportunity in the Brazilian Grand Prix and the race was pretty under control and then obviously the safety car came out when I saw Lewis behind me, I just thought, bugger, this is not going to be, <laughs> this is not going to be straightforward but uh, the relief when I crossed the line to get that victory was a special moment for sure. Well, everyone enjoyed it, as evidenced by the room's reaction tonight. Uh, now, it was only eight years ago that you were actually up here as a BRDC, a young driver. Just tell us what the award meant to you at the time and how it kind of changed the trajectory of your career. Yeah, it was absolutely massive, to be honest. I think being back here tonight reminded me of the very first time I was here, which was in 2009, and um, picking up an award for a karting championship. And I think it was a year when Jensen won the championship and Ross Braun was here. And obviously those guys to me were like superheroes. I was an 11 year old kid and um, just sort of starstruck by sharing a room with those guys. And I remember later that evening, I went to the, to the bathroom and I've told this story to a few people before. And it, Ross Braun was there standing next to me at the urinals. And I was thinking, oh. right, this is my opportunity to, uh, <laughs> to, to try and You're further kidding. my career. So I'm standing there next to, to Ross at the urinals thinking, I need to say something, I need to say something here. But I just couldn't gather the words to say something to him. And when I got the courage to say something, Ross had already walked off, washed his hands and left me. And I was thinking there, as this 11 year old kid, have I just sort of missed this opportunity of, um, of a lifetime, you know, standing up the toilets with Ross Braun. But fortunately enough, <laughs> fortunately enough, I was here, you know, five years later, collecting this award for the uh, McLaren Auto Sport Awards. And a year later, um, I was here again. And I was fortunate enough to see Toto that evening, you know, I thought, you know, this is, um, this is my chance now. So um, I was sort of in the corner, iron Toto up the whole evening and everybody was all <laughs> over him chatting away and he was obviously making people laugh and charming as he always is. And the second he got an opportunity where he was free, I was like, right, this is my chance to pounce and I need to, uh, need to get in front of him. And I thought, I was, I was lucky that I'd already met Toto once before, so he knew who I was, so I thought I need to remind him who George Russell is, get in front of him and just have a conversation. So I went over, had a conversation and two months later I was uh, signed for Mercedes. So I think it was what a moment like tonight. I don't think, I don't know. I said, uh, it was a late night. I had a, I had a glass of red wine in my hand at, at the time as well. So I'm not too sure if that was um, the tipping point, but yeah, I think autosport has been a huge part of um, my career, the opportunity. Also, you know, David, when did you win the award? 1989. <laughs> no, no, I was nine years before I was born. It actually was nineteen. <laughs> it wasn't a joke. I wasn't laughing. <laughs> I'm, 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 I, listen, I need to go for my fifth pee of the night, so if you can hurry up. <laughs> All this you're, talk of your idols. You're the best looking fifth year old I know, David, so. Oh, uh, <laughs> stop it. Are, well, you, are you 50? I'm 51. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Shall we just go to the toilet? I know very good You've created more amazing moments for us tonight. Well done, George Russell, and thank you, DC. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Well